If Hawking is right, it can break physics, and together with that, the Western civilization we love and admire. At the core of Hawking's paradox is the concept of entanglement. In this video, we will show how entanglement holds the secret to resolving Hawking's paradox. Our modern physics stands on two extremely successful theories. Quantum mechanics, governing behavior at small scales, and Einstein's general relativity, which explains the workings of the universe at a large scale. Stephen Hawking, however, showed that when you try to combine quantum mechanics with general relativity, it leads to a loss of information. This loss of information is in sharp contradiction to everything we believe about physics. This problem is now famously known as Hawking's information paradox. Does this mean that we are doomed and scientists should just pack their bags and head to the pub? Actually, no. Paradoxes are amazingly great resources for scientific breakthroughs. History of physics has shown us time and again that anytime two major principles clash and create a paradox, a major breakthrough lurks around. Physicists believe that solving the Hawking paradox can provide insights into the theory of quantum gravity and eventually the theory of everything. Hawking's paradox is extremely sharp. Hawking pair production happens at the event horizon of the black hole, where we believe that both quantum mechanics and general relativity should hold. The usual explanation goes like this. Suppose you drop a diary into the black hole. A black hole emits Hawking radiation and gradually loses its mass. Eventually, all that remains is Hawking radiation, which carries no information about the diary you dropped. This is information loss. So far, any resolution to this puzzle requires either quantum mechanics or general relativity to break down. This explanation, while nice, is not satisfactory. Entanglement holds the key to the Hawking paradox. The pair of particles emitted from the horizon are entangled with each other. One half falls into the black hole, while the other radiates away. Only part of the total entanglement remains when the black hole completely evaporates. Quantum mechanics says this is impossible. You cannot get half entanglement from the total entanglement. What does it mean when we say the information is lost in a black hole? Or put differently, how would you know that you have been able to recover the diary that fell into a black hole? One powerful tool in our pocket is quantum information theory. In quantum information theory, a common task is for the receiver to recover the quantum information sent by the sender. Using the information theory, we can frame the black hole paradox as a simple communication problem. Suppose Alice drops a diary into a black hole. The black hole emits Hawking radiation, which gets collected by the detector outside. From this radiation alone, can Bob successfully recover the diary? Well, Hawking's answer was no. Quantum information theory provides the necessary conditions for Bob's success. It has to do with how the particles in the diary were entangled with each other. For Bob to recover the diary, the Hawking radiation must have a similar entanglement structure. We have introduced several new concepts in part one. This can be a bit overwhelming. Let's quickly go through the few key takeaways. Hawking showed that combining quantum mechanics and relativity can lead to an information loss paradox. Paradoxes like this are valuable clues for new physics, indicating that our current understanding is incomplete and pointing the way to potential breakthroughs. The information paradox is closely related to the entanglement of Hawking pairs. Understanding this entanglement structure could be the key to resolving the paradox. Entanglement is a genuine quantum property with no classical analog. Schrodinger called entanglement the only peculiar feature of quantum mechanics and coined entanglement, Verschrankung in German, to emphasize its significance. 
When two particles are entangled, having just one particle gives you zero information about the overall state. However, you gain complete information about the system if you have both particles. For example, if you consider the one half of an entangled pair, its position and momentum are highly uncertain until you also have information about its entangled partner. We need to fix some jargon terms. The total entangled system is called the pure state. It is called a mixed state when you only have access to a part of the total system. A mixed state is entangled with some other system. You can get no information out from a mixed state. This is because the mixed state has an equal probability of being in any state. So you don't have any more information than a random guess. We think the entire universe is a pure state, but if you look at a small part, it's probably a mixed state because it's entangled with the rest of the universe. Having done all this hard work, it is now time to reap the fruits. Let's formulate the information paradox in the language of entanglement. Imagine starting with a pure state, which contains full information. This pure state could be anything, like a star or a cup of coffee. Now, it is always possible to collapse this pure state into a black hole. At the black hole horizon, Hawking pair production occurs. The most crucial fact about the Hawking pair is that they are entangled with each other. One particle of the pair escapes, while the other falls into the black hole. The escaping particle carries energy away, causing the black hole to lose mass. In the end, you have particles outside the black hole entangled with those that went inside. However, since the black hole eventually evaporates, the inside is gone. This is the information paradox. You began with a pure state, where everything was known. By the time the black hole evaporates, you're left with mixed states, which provide no information. Let's be a bit more precise. In quantum mechanics, everything is described by the Schrodinger equation. Eventually, the Schrodinger equation should ultimately describe black holes as well. A unique feature of the Schrodinger equation is that it takes a pure state into another pure state and a mixed state into another mixed state. Hawking showed that even if we start with a pure state, we end with mixed states at the end of black hole evaporation. This contradiction suggests that the Schrodinger equation might not describe black hole evolution, presenting us with a paradox. The extremely non-trivial feature of Hawking pair particles is that they are maximally entangled with each other. However, we only have half of the pairs left at the end of the evaporation. These half pairs can provide no information about the original stuff that formed the black hole. This highlights the critical role of entanglement in understanding black hole information loss. We can quantify the entanglement using the entanglement entropy. The entanglement entropy of a pure state is zero, while the entanglement entropy of a mixed state is maximum. Since high entropy equals high uncertainty, this matches our earlier discussion that mixed states have no information. According to the Schrodinger equation, if a black hole begins in a pure state, it should also end in one. This means the entanglement entropy should start and finish at zero though it can increase in the middle. This predicted rise and fall of entanglement entropy over the lifetime of a black hole is what we call the page curve. Obtaining a page curve. Using your favorite theory of quantum gravity is the holy grail of the black hole information paradox. However, Hawking's calculation showed that the Hawking radiation doesn't follow this expected page curve. Instead, its entanglement entropy starts at zero and keeps on increasing. This mismatch in Hawking's calculation and page curve is possibly the sharpest formulation of the black hole information paradox. One interesting feature of this curve is that we don't have to wait until the end of the black hole to see the paradox. Rather, the mismatch is already at halftime, also called page time. Now, 
it is time to wrap up our video. Here are the key takeaways. Because Hawking's information paradox predicts the breakdown of either quantum mechanics or general relativity, and physics thrives in such paradoxes, Hawking's paradox could be the biggest clue for discovering new physics. Most importantly, quantum gravity. Hawking pair particles are formed at the black hole horizon, where general relativity and quantum mechanics are expected to hold. This follows from Einstein's equivalence principle, which says nothing weird should happen on the horizon. Interestingly, Hawking pair particles are maximally entangled with each other. These pairs' entanglement structure provides the Hawking paradox's sharpest formulation. In particular, Hawking showed that a black hole formed from a pure state goes to a maximally mixed final state. This behavior is against the rules of quantum mechanics. Exploring these paradoxes has already led to groundbreaking insights. One of the most interesting ones is called the holographic principle, which proposes that the information about a system is located at the cosmological boundary. This principle is opening exciting new doors in our understanding of the universe.